you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are we doing? Big P here. And still the voice of hardcore boxing. I don't know how Ian Blink McDonald used to rob banks in a mask. I couldn't breathe. Uh, just a quick video. I've just been sent something. Uh, Right, you've probably seen, let's have a look, Sky have put something out, haven't they? Right, this is what they've put out. AJ changing list of challengers. Joseph Parker, Charlie Martin and Robert Elenius are trying to force a fight with AJ. Now, do you all remember, a long time ago, when I said to everybody that if Anthony Joshua if Anthony Joshua beats Charlie Martin they will milk that belt like you can never imagine and what they will do when the public have lost interest they will come to the table that's what they'll do that's what I said then and I'm saying it now Joshua's been wrapped in cotton wool since Andy, Andy Ruiz flogged him he's frightened to death frightened to death shout out to K official forgot to mention him earlier in my million views uh, mini little speech million views isn't a lot is it but it was a, a, a realistic target for me when I started. I proved a, one particular person wrong. And I will collect that watch. Because I collect. And I know you're watching. But uh, shout out to K Official. If you want any merchandise, get in touch with K Official. It's an area in Cheshire called Malpaz, I think. Paul and M's. Good company. Do great stuff. Look. Little porky pig thing there. That on me woolly hats and that. We had a good relationship with it for about six months with them. They were brilliant with me. Two did close for about six months and they uploaded me videos for ten months because I don't upload, do I? I'm not into all that. Now getting back to Joshua. What what who want to see Charlie Martin again? Who want to see Parker fight again? And who want to see Robert Elenius after Dave Allen knocked him out in sparring? So Dave Allen knocked Robert Elenius out in sparring. Went over to his, uh, his country and iced him. But yeah, he's in the mix to fight Joshua. Look, what the Hearns will do, they, if they can't get the Fury fight, and it looks like Frank Warren, right, is going to go the same route as them. They're going to stay apart until the public lose interest in Joshua and Fury. Fury is already in America, so he's got to come back at some stage, hasn't he? Really, right? He's got to come back at some stage. At the moment, his stars are up there, isn't it? So they're going to milk it, aren't they? Joshua's going to milk it. The big stars they can. Uh, millions of pounds without taking a loss against each other, can't they? Or a draw, or it's too early for them yet, isn't it? So expect a lot of IFL, behind, uh, boxing social, behind the gloves, running about, chasing about after them. All them lot have been chasing about after all things Fury and all things Joshua for the last couple of weeks. Joshua's not fought since last year. But they're all going to piggyback off the frenzy. Now what these people are forgetting is this. What about all them young lads that are 2-0, 3-0 or just turning over or kids coming to end of the career who, who never even got a European title or a British shot, title shot? What about them people? What about the people outside the 25 who don't do views? What about them people? What about them people, Coogan Cassius? What about them? 
What about your line of questioning that your man, Umar Ahmed, is it? And you called him Umar IFL Umar. What about the line of questioning that Barry Hearns in New York and Umar IFL never asked him why he was in New York? Did you, Umar IFL Umar? Why not? Because they've only just got back into the circle, porks. Look, I don't want to hear about that. I don't want to hear about it. There's too many people out for themselves in boxing. Alright. I don't see anybody putting any mileage in for sake of sport. And don't anybody come near me at next amateur show going on about sake of sport. I don't want to hear it. Now when you're collecting pennies, now when you're taking money out of amateur shows, I don't want to hear it. Don't come near me going on about for love at sport. Now when you're taking money out of that job, all right, because I'm not interested in that. Hey, all these do-gooders, hey, all these doormen getting paid on night to be doormen at amateur shows and referees taking money and judges and all that. I don't want to hear that. I want to see some people doing it for free instead of doctors sat there at amateur shows on a, on a small fortune for sat there being entertained for three hours, eh? Getting more than a, getting more money than, than a working man would get over three shifts. I don't want to see that. I want to see somebody doing it from here for a change, from heart. That's what I want to see and I'm hoping to change it all. I'm going to shout them all out. Get ready. So don't any of you doormen coming up to me, patting me off back. I don't want to see any of that. I ain't your mates. Taking money out at amateur shows. You should be ashamed of yourselves, eh? Walking about in your big top, in your big jackets, pinching 60 quid a night, eh? Unbelievable. So, shout out K official, but as regards Anthony Joshua, they're not going to put him near any danger. His star's on the wane, and what Eddie Hearn will do, as I've been telling you gimps from Gimpville Island for years, what they will do, they'll overkill it. They'll overkill it until they've got to come begging. They're already begging for Fury fight, wanting 50-50. Fury's Laniel. He's got the WBC, he's beat Wilder, who Joshua has nightmares about. He beat him, beat him up, and he took his Laniel status back. So it isn't a 50-50 really, is it? Come on. It's probably a 55-35. I don't want to hear all that about he's got more belts. It's the Fury's belts. Like they never lost them. So... Fight pool left, and then go fight all them other dossers and just get Eddie Hearn to spin a load of narratives. But I think this narrative now, what, what's happening now is, they've all been found out, haven't they? We all know what they are because what happens is, where there's money concern, right, wherever you get money concern, there's problems. My dad told me that years ago when I was a kid. He always said to me, look, you know, wherever there's, you know, wherever there's money, there's always going to be problems, Russell. Or when people, especially when people are handling money, or getting money hand over fist, or nothing, right? You're always going to have problems. Now, these people have got a good thing going on, they're spinning loads of narratives. Joshua's this, Joshua's that. Joshua, Eddie Hearn's social standing in boxing is a lot higher than somebody else's. For example, I'm going to tell you a little story now. Eddie Hearn told a lie, right, in front of somebody who I know very well. And this lie was massive. And the person he told the lie to said, oh, that's not what I've heard, Eddie. And Eddie said, oh, you heard it from the horse's mouth. You don't believe that, Sandy, yeah? And this particular person went back to somebody else and said, you told me a lie. And this kid went, oh, did I? He went, here, there you go, have a look at that. Too late, everybody had heard it then. Who's going to believe somebody who's a cut man 
at sight of Eddie Hearn. If you've got Eddie Hearn whispering in your ear, right, say for instance, you're making your way in boxing and Eddie Hearn comes up and he whispers in your ear and he tells you something, you're going to take it as gospel because he's the man at the top. He's like God, isn't he? He's playing God. Aren't you, Eddie? Eddie Hearn's playing God, right? And all them around him have to dance to his tune. Coogan, Michelle Phelps, Rob Tebbett, Omar Arfell, Andy McCart. You know what Andy McCart likes to do, don't we, on the night time? Andy McCart. Hey, Andy McCart. Right, all them lot are like that. Tell them I said that. Tell them Big Porky said that. No problem, come see Big Porky on 27. 26 at Wayne, G Casino, Sheffield, come see me. I'll be there on 26. Look, they're all dancing to the tune. They're not going to say a word. They're not going to rock the boat. Other people that are working me, Macho, don't say a word. Yes, please, Eddie. No, Eddie. Yes, sir. They're not going to, they want to get to the, they want to get to the goal, don't they? So they're not going to say a word. That's just how it how it goes. It's a box. It's it's the wild wild west. It's a sport that's not governed. It's only people like me, UCTV, boxing, Ultra Tech Sports Raw, Boxing Asylum. Get them Boxing Asylum T-shirts bought. Get them bought. If they send me one, I'll wear one. Get them bought. The Boxing Asylum T-shirts. Porky's Corner. We don't do T-shirts. We don't do hoodies no more. These are. Uh, these are original K, yeah, K official ones. If you need out, go to K official, but there's no more porky clothing. But I might, I might do porky hats and porky mugs due to popular demand, but we're not going to do clothes. But Boxing Asylum, Ultra Tech Sports Raw, UC TV Boxing. World Fighting uh, Boxing, is it the American uh, channel that I listen to? Adonis is called. Uh, what's the other one? That's it, Boxing Asylum. I used to listen to the next big pod, Brian King and all his mates, but don't do it now, we're good at that. Uh, Boxing Asylum though, and I've saved my asylum, I'm gonna listen to it in a minute. I'm gonna listen to Boxing Asylum, uh, what time is it now? Have a look. 3.46 on a Monday, so I'm going to listen to Boxing Asylum about 4 o'clock till 6. Then I'll just carry on doing some more work. But what are they going to do now? They're going to milk Joshua until they, they go from like a 60,000 stadium to like a 20. They're going to watch it dwindle down then they're going to go back up for fury. So watch it all unfold. That's what they're going to do. They're going to go like that. And then when they hit rock bottom and nobody's interested, they're going to go begging for fury fight. And they might even take less than half. Because that's how they're going to work it. They are driven by numbers. Take Joshua out of their stable. What we got? Dylan White's not even fought Caballel. They ain't gonna hear Caballel. Ortez twice, Poole left and Joshua rematch. Knocked all them back. Caballel, after he saw what he did to Chisora, Dillian's not been nowhere near him. He said he didn't want to fight Ortez because he couldn't speak English, so instead he fought Oscar Rivers, who's Colombian, and he doesn't speak English. So his story doesn't add up, does it? You know what I mean? Dillian White reminds me of one of them people walking around prison in your local jail, but he's not from your area and nobody knows what he's in for. He reminds me of one of them people. They're walking about, where's he heading here? Where's he going? Pavet kid, 41 year old in a couple of months, he ain't got a belt. Why ain't Dillian going for a European title or why ain't he going for a, I don't know, a younger guy? Povetkin over Hunter, well, why not Hunter? He's younger. Povetkin's 40 odd. I don't get it, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, I just don't get it at all. 
I don't get it. Oh, Povetkin is he's an old man, isn't he, in boxing terms? When Ali fought Larry Holmes, who were 38, Povetkin's 42 next year. There you go. 42 next year. I don't want to hear all that about he's only been beat by Vladimir and Joshua. I don't want to hear all that. I don't want to hear it. It's Joshua leftovers, isn't it? Lucas Brown, 40. Povetkin, he's 41 in a couple of months. I mean, Marius Vak, how old were he? He was an old man, wasn't he? I'm, not, I'm off the Dillian White hype train, I'm off it. He's got a killer left hook. And I wouldn't like it outside of my jaw, but... We've got to tell it straight and we can fight, yeah, but... Where's he going? Where's he heading? Who's advising him? Same with Joshua. They're just telling us lie after lie after lie. These people are not asking proper questions, these YouTubers that have got access. It's becoming embarrassing. They've got Barry Ann on a sit down in New York. Why is Barry Ann in New York? Barry's in New York. Why is he in New York, Barry? Why are you in New York, Bazza? Well, just if you've missed out, I've hit a million views, Bazza. Verified YouTube partner. <coughs> all right. No strikes no more. So all you complainers who got me off Twitter, it backfired on you. No strikes. You all fell for my trap. I might explain to you one day, but I'll give you a little clue. Uploading videos to go out the next day, and the same people dislike them. These same people are the ones who are complaining to YouTube. Alright? So they say, well, what you do, this is how you flush them out. You remember my video a few months ago, how to catch a troll? Well, we've actually proved a few points and we've got our strikes back now all right so and i think if i push it a little bit more with twitter with my lawyer i think i could get on twitter again but i don't want to go through all that now again because twitter is a cesspit a cesspit of frauds all right you see it's not fair that us on youtube can't get come on here and start hammering you all because we get kicked off we can't start fake, setting fake accounts up and all that because they'll, they'll know about it and then we'll lose well, what we're going to do then we've set all this up for note then haven't we just to fire back at you all so any any people who follow me feel free to hammer these trolls all right feel free to slaughter them all right oh i'm sat here warm as toast in my k official winter coat Look at that. Quality, eh? They reckon that Chris Bonington, when he climbed Mount Everest the last time, wore a K official puff coat. With porky sign on, what do you reckon? <laughs> so peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. It's boxing asylum time now. Two hours. I've saved a ruffle. I'm gonna put the kettle on. It's two hours of bliss and listening to my peers, all right? So peace out.